IGCSE Biology, Syllabus Statement 321, 321A. And here we're predicting the, pro the probabilities or the chances of outcomes. The outcomes are offspring from monohybrid crosses, uh, crosses involving just the one gene. These have been covered in detail in video 319, but in this demonstration, we'll reduce it to, uh, to the more traditional letters without drawing homologous chromosomes. Let's begin with the parents. And the cross that we considered in 319 was between a plant which had red petals was crossed with a plant which had white petals and of course this is the phenotype. We can write down the genotype of the cross which we knew that the this parent here was homozygous dominant and this one was homozygous recessive making big R dominant to little r, red is dominant to white. As you'll recall, the next stage involves meiosis, the production of the pollen grains and the ovules. And the rules are that the gamete will contain only one of the two alleles, but it's an equal chance. So therefore, there's a half of the gametes will have big R, uh, and the other half would have the other big R. This is equally true of the production of the alleles. We need to separate the alleles so we only have one of the pair of the alleles in each gamete. So the ovule, half of them would have little r and the other one would have half of them would have little r. Then we consider random fertilization. And we do this by drawing a table to illustrate the possible fertilizations that can occur between the pollen grains and the ovules. The possible fertilizations are that the ovules, half of them will have this little r here. Let's put that there. And half of them would have this little r here. Half of the pollen grains would have this allele and the other half would have the other one like this. So there's a 50% 50, 50 of the alleles of this one and 50% of that one half and half. If this fertilizes this one and it's if then we would get the homozygous, uh, we would get the heterozygote, that one with this one that would give us another heterozygote, this pollen grain big R with this ovule little r would give us another heterozygote and for the last cross big R with little r once more another heterozygote. The genotype of the offspring is big R little r and notice that they are all big R little r this means that when we go to the phenotype of the offspring, remember this is the F1 generation, then they are all red. The probability, starting with the homozygous red parent, cross with the homozygous white parent, the probability is 100% that you will have a red offspring, red petaled flower 